Matthew here from AnyWareGaming.com bringing you another in a series of making money from your hobby. Today we're going to talk about, guess what, making money from the videos. We've talked about how to make the videos, we've talked about how to focus on the right content, on the right equipment, how to get more views on your videos. These are all preliminary things. But then the question is, okay, I'm starting to get views or maybe not. How do I make money from this? How do I best monetize the efforts that I'm going into? There's a few different ways that you can do this. And like I said at the beginning of the series, none of these are gonna turn you into super, a super rich person. Because in the wargaming niche, there are not millions of views going around. If you want to make a full-time income on YouTube, just making videos, you need to be making or getting hundred thousands, hundreds of thousands of views per video a couple times a week. That's not gonna happen in the wargaming niche. So you're just looking at getting less money. You could probably, realistically, if you get popular enough, make hundreds of dollars, possibly a couple thousand dollars a month just with YouTube, if you get quite popular. So if you're less well-known, you might only be making tens of dollars or maybe a hundred dollars or something like that. It's, it's, I can't guarantee anything, obviously. It all depends on your views and on the content as well. So how do you make money now that you're making videos? Well, the first thing is once you get enough views, YouTube is automatically going to invite you to monetize your videos. Uh, you can apply to their partner program, but I think, I don't know what their current minimum requirements are, but you're not going to want to bother to apply to that until you have at least a couple thousand subscribers and are regularly getting thousands of views on your videos. And when I say thousands, I mean like a thousand or two. Uh, if each video you put up, you get a couple thousand views and you've got one or two thousand subscribers, then I would consider applying to their partner program. Until then, it's just a waste of your time and they don't want you to apply too often, so you're just going to limit that. They will actually contact you when your videos are getting enough views for monetization. That's a step below their partner program, as far as I understand. And so they'll say, yes, you can turn on monetization in this specific video, or they might actually open it up so you can monetize any of your videos. It just depends on how many views you're getting. And then you submit them, and then they have to approve them to make sure that you're not using any copyright material. So it's very important, first off, that you're not using copyright material. Use royalty-free music. Incompetech.com is a great place for that. There's lots of places to get royalty-free music and make sure that it's royalty-free for commercial use. It's important. Royalty-free can be royalty-free for commercial use or non-commercial use. And if you're trying to make money from your videos, it's technically commercial use, even though you're just a, a person and not a business. It's still commercial use whenever there's any money being made. So make sure you use that kind of royalty-free music. Everything at Incompetech.com is royalty-free for commercial use. All you have to do is attribute the, the author, who is Kevin McLeod. That's why you see on a lot of our videos it says music by Kevin McLeod or in the description below it'll say music by Kevin McLeod or incompetech.com. Anyway, so that's the first thing. There's not much that you can do for that. You kind of wait for YouTube to contact you. Uh, and then you definitely, whenever they contact you, you jump on it and turn on monetization. And then once you've turned on monetization for a video, you need to edit the info on the video. So go into your My Videos tab on YouTube, click Edit Info, and then scroll to the bottom and there will be advertising options. By default, they will not all be turned on. So if you want pre-rolls and post-rolls and all these other things, by default, they are not turned on. So you're going to want to turn those on to make sure you're making as much money as you can per video. Once you're getting a regular amount of views, the second way to almost, I would say, instantly triple whatever you're making with YouTube. So if you're currently making $20 a month with YouTube, I would say that we can instantly get you starting to make $60 plus that $20. So we're actually quadrupling your income. The way that you do this is what we do. And that is that you have a website where you post the videos before they go up to YouTube. Usually 30 days before is what we do. And you use another um, video, video site, I guess that's what you call it, and it's called blip.tv, so B-L-I-P.tv. Blip.tv is just like YouTube, you can upload videos for free and they'll show them. The difference though is that Blip's monetization program, anybody can join automatically. And uh, once you get enough views, it doesn't start off this way, but you can be making between five to $10 per thousand views, which is much, much higher than YouTube's. So I can't disclose what YouTube does because it's part of their non-disclosure agreement. Blip does not have that agreement, so I can tell you. In fact, they tell you, they say up to $15 CPM, but you're not gonna see that because the $15 CPM is if all of your traffic is US traffic because that's where they get the big bucks. The non-US traffic is, doesn't make as much money because the advertisers are targeting usually American traffic. 
So anyway, um, we typically on our videos see between five to seven dollars CPM. What that means is for every thousand views on a video, we typically make between five and seven dollars, which doesn't sound like a lot until you realize that if there's if you have tons of videos making thousands of views each, then you can start to make some money there. And really, remember, we're not looking at making tons of money and making a living from this, although if you really wanted to invest in it, the advertising part of it could really supplement your income, but I wouldn't ever count on it doing a full replacement of your income. So here's what you do. You take your video that you've just created. This is once you have a following on YouTube. Uh, doing this right away, you can do it right away. I don't see why you couldn't, but I'm not sure if it'll really yield the same results. But what you do is you go to blip.tv and you sign up for an account, then you upgrade to their pro account, which costs $8 per month. So you do have a bit of an expense there, but you should be able to make that $8 back, no problem. And then you take this video that you've created and you upload it to blip, and then blip processes it, and then you get an embed code from blip, just like you do from YouTube, and you put that on your website, on your blog, on your WordPress blog, or whatever it happens to be. And you put it on there with a really good title, really good description, and a good article underneath it, give lots of keywords, and that's it. And then 30 days later, or if you want to do it right away and at the beginning, you put it up on YouTube. And then what you can do is on YouTube, when you put up the video, put up an annotation or even, you know, tack on the video that you can see, they can see all your videos earlier at your website. And then you always, always, always are giving your website out. And every single video, you should probably mention your website URL somewhere, at least in the description below, if not in the video itself. So you're always mentioning that. You can see my videos earlier and you can tell them why. Be very transparent. I want you to go see my videos on my website because I make more money from that and that way you're supporting me and allowing me to make more videos. Okay, be transparent. Don't try to hide the fact that you're making money from these videos. People will respect the fact that you want to make a few bucks from it because of the effort you're putting in. Very few people are like, you should only be doing this for the community. We've had that. We've had comments in the past. Somebody's like, I can't believe you guys try to make money from your videos. You should be doing it just for the community. It's like, well, I'm sorry that we spend combined 70 to 80 hours a week making videos and I guess we want to make money from that. Kind of have to make an income and make a living. So very few people are like that. Most people understand. In fact, once I told people why, at first when I said 30 days earlier on our website, there was some, there was some negativity to that. People were like, oh, I'd rather just see it on YouTube. But then I actually told them why. I said, well, actually on our website, we use a different program and we make more advertising revenue. All of a sudden people were like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. And they would go to our website to watch the videos. And I even started to get comments saying, hey, I didn't see a pre-roll advertisement, which is a video that plays before the video. And so I was, I, I was disappointed because I knew that I wasn't making you as much money because they know that if they see a pre-roll advertisement, they've made me more money because the more ads are shown, the more money we make. And so I actually started getting comments of people saying, oh, I wish there was an ad because I want to support you guys. And so by being transparent and telling people, yes, we're trying to make money from this, but we're going to do that by making videos that you guys like then they started to really want to support us in any way that they possibly could. So number one, you have your YouTube monetization, which you just should do whenever you're offered it. It's just a no brainer. Number two is you sign up for a blip.tv account, upgrade to pro for $8 a month, or you can pay for a full year and you get a bonus month or something like that. And then you put your videos on blip and you put, don't expect blip to get you much traffic. They're trying to become like a YouTube where people actually go to blip to watch videos, but nobody does that right now. So you use them mainly because they have better advertising revenue. You put that on your blog, which you should already have by this point. And then you can write, a, I, I would say right away, put it on your blog and put it on YouTube at the same time. Cause you need to build up a following before you can start trying to funnel people over from YouTube to your, to your website. And then as you keep going, you can tell people in your videos, watch it on my site and you'll be supporting me more. And you could build up your subscribers that way. And then there, there's lots of different ways for people to be able to subscribe to your blog or even get them to subscribe to your Blip channel. That would be really good as well. So that's the first two things, YouTube and Blip advertising revenue. The third thing is advertising on your website, which um, obviously you need to get people over to your website. The very simple way to do it would be to sign up for a free program called Google AdSense, google.com slash AdSense. That's A-D-S-E-N-S-E. -S -S -E. And uh, this program allows you to display ads on your website from Google's network of advertisers. They won't always be 100% relevant and they won't always make you that much money. But you know, a few extra cents here and there do add up, especially if people are already going to your website to watch videos. If there happens to be ads along the right hand side or before the video or underneath the video, that's even more money that you can make per video. So at least sign up for that kind of advertising. Um, you can also look for what are called affiliate programs. For example, miniwargaming.com, us, we have an affiliate program 
or if you go to the bottom of anywargaming.com, you can sign up for it, and you refer people to our site with a, a unique link that has your username or your information embedded in it, and when they buy stuff from us, either through our store or, or ebooks and things like that, then you make a commission off of that. And so you make some affiliate revenue. So you don't make any money from the advertising. You make money if somebody clicks on it and goes over to the website. So that's called an affiliate program. And so you want to look for affiliate programs um, with different stores and all of that and then link to those. Once again, you won't make a ton of money from those, but you know, $10 here, $20 there, $50 here, $10 there, $5 here, it adds up to a point where it could actually be nicely supplementing your, um, your personal hobby. And of course, the more videos you make, the more content you make, the more money you'll make because the more views you'll get and the more people will want to come back and follow along with what you do. So those are the main three ways that you can make money from your videos. YouTube monetization, which will happen automatically, so make sure you allow it to happen when that does. Blip, sign up for a Blip account, upgrade to a pro account, and then post the videos on your site from Blip, not from YouTube. Um, and then tell people on YouTube to go and watch it on your site and you can even like give them the incentive of putting the, web, putting the videos up first on your website and then 30 days later put them up on YouTube. So they're like, oh, I want to see the next video and, and then they go and watch it. And then number three is you put up ads on your website. Now if you're thinking, oh, but ads, people hate ads. Well, guess what? Ads are what fuel the free experience. The reason that free exists on the internet is because of ads. If there weren't ads, YouTube would not be free. Google would not be free. All these different services would not be free if it was not for advertising because advertisers pay the bills and that's really what it comes down to. So leave comments below any questions you have regarding how to make more money from your videos or anything else that I have yet to cover. If you have any questions that uh, I have not answered, leave comments below and I'll be making uh, future videos on this, probably some FAQ as well where I just go through a bunch of comments and just answer them quickly. But if there's any ones that come up a lot, I will definitely make videos on those as well. So, and if you found this useful, make sure you like it. If you're on Mini Wargaming, click the Facebook like above. If you're on YouTube, click the like right below. That'll really help us out by getting us more views and getting this exposed to even more people. And of course, subscribe for more videos. This is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Happy Wargaming. ...of glass. I use uh, Windex to clean it off and I find it 